Hello again. We're going to do matrices, Kramer's rule, three by three. Um, the only difference is that uh, I'm not going to show you how to do the problem. I'm just going to show you the formula. Let's say you have three different equations uh, with three sets of variables each. The determinant, uh, in order to figure out the answers, is uh, this is the x value matrix, uh, this determinant over normal determinant. Uh, this one is this determinant over this determinant, what z is this uh, determinant over this determinant. But you got to make sure that this determinant is not equal to zero, otherwise it gives you an undefined in the answer. And that's not going to work. Uh, so keep that in mind. And I've got these three matrices right here. Uh, when you do the determinants, I believe, well I don't believe, I know you do. You get... Um, You're going to get x equals negative 2 over negative 9, y equals 12 over negative 9, and z equals 3 over negative 9. I didn't really do it that fast. I just, uh, I already knew the, the denominator and then I just quickly did the numerator. Uh, if you practice it, you really do get that fast. I, I know it might seem like that's not true, but you really do. Anyways, uh, negative divided by negative is positive, so it's 2 ninths. Uh, 12 over negative 9 reduces to negative uh, 4 thirds. And that reduces to negative one-third. That's it. And I never thought I was going to use this in my life in a real situation outside of a math class, which is really funny, but I was teaching in Kalahari one time. And uh, uh, they had to set up teacher schedules, and they didn't have any advanced programs in order to do that. So what I did was I basically uh, took uh, uh, everybody's classes, uh, periods they wanted off, or um, how many preps they were supposed to teach, etc., and I set it up in a matrix. And I was able to figure it out in a relatively short amount of time. Usually people told me that it takes about three or four days to carefully compute it, uh, you know, because they just do it through trial and error. But actually, if you set it up in a matrix, you can do it very quickly. And if I had a computer program, I could have probably done it in two minutes, to say the least. So it, it really is true. And I, you know, I tried explaining this to a colleague that I was working with. He's like, no, man, there is no way you can use this. And I came back like, after about 20 minutes with a, a full schedule that usually takes three or four days to figure out. So it does have its uses. Uh, if you're not going to, you know, make schedules for people in the Kalahari, perhaps you're never going to really use it. And I suppose in this case, I would be sympathetic. You know, if students wanted to plug this into a graphing calculator, that'd be fine. Although at the same time, I wouldn't. I probably would never give this type of a problem on a test uh, that wasn't graphing calculator induced, because I don't want students to just sit here and do a problem for 40 minutes, anyways. But if that's what you're being tested on on one particular quiz, and I can sympathize with that. Uh, other than that, it does have its uses. I mean, you might not agree, but you can be able to find solutions of this that you otherwise have to use a, a Gauss method of, I believe it's Gauss, I'm not particularly sure, a uh, method of matrix on multiplication, substitution, etc., or uh, more standard elimination substitution. You'd eventually figure out the answers, but it might take longer than figuring out using the determinant, which you know will work no matter what. Uh, with that said, that's the formula behind it. Those are the answers. Not the most descriptive lesson, but at the same time, if I wanted to sit here and explain every single thing, I did the 2 by 2 Kramer's rule. If I wanted to sit here and do the 3 by 3 I'd be sitting here for 15 more minutes erasing and writing, which I'm not going to do because that's terribly unproductive on a video lesson. Uh, in class, so that's a different story. I hope that was helpful. Uh, you know, not my usual array. I wish I could have done it, but like I said, limited board, limited time. Hopefully, you'll find it as best as possible. Take it easy for now. Goodbye.